afternoon. Good noon. Hello. Welcome to episode 3 of Teaching Kids How to Fight. And today we're gonna learn about special moves. Today we're going to learn about Yay. special moves. And Ila has made lovely banana chocolate smoothies. <laughs> See that? Ah, oh, it's, so, it's so hot today, right? It's ridiculous. So, special moves, right? Like everybody, this. Everybody on board with this? Like that, exactly. Can you press the pause button for a sec? So, special moves, uh, special moves as in Street Fighter date back to the very first Street Fighter. And why do you think they make these special moves so complicated to input? Because otherwise you just keep on doing it. Yeah, good point, good point. And in the first Street Fighter even, it was kind of a secret. They didn't put anywhere like this is how you do the special moves. It's stuff you had to discover. So people were doing fireballs with Ryu, who was the only playable character, or Ken, if you play two players. They were doing fireballs with dragon punches and hurricane kicks all by accident. So they had to figure out how to do it. And another point uh, why special moves are uh, indeed so tricky to do is indeed otherwise you could do them all the time. And... So the thing is, there's always a risk involved, right? Somebody jumps at you, you want to shore you can them out of the air, right? With Ryu. Yeah. But there's a risk that you might s screw up the movement. And it takes, you cannot do it on the, f on the first frame. You, you know, it takes an input to do it. So there's a little bit of timing involved as well. Which is what makes it exciting. You know, there was a game called uh, Rising Thunder. Um, which did away with all the complicated, it's a Street Fighter style 2D fighting game with robots. And it did, did away with all the complicated inputs, but also that made the game less exciting. There was less risk involved, was le less exciting to watch. Hello, Case of Zero. How are you? And, um, but, and there's another way of doing special moves, like in uh, Smash Brothers, right? Yeah. In Smash Brothers, it's just... Oh, yes. Or hold, now that's for Smashes, but holding a direction and pressing the B button. That's your special moves in Smash yeah. Brothers. So that's, a, but that's a very different kind of fighting game than Street Fighter, of course, right? Yeah. Um, so special moves, before we get into Ryu special moves, which is your character, they are kind of, after Street Fighter 1, where they were kind of secret, they became the way uh, your character is defined. For example, Ryu has a fireball, uh, which is, uh, which you... Um, Activate with a quarter circle forward and a punch. He has a dragon punch, forward, down, down, forward punch. Mm -hmm. And he has a hurricane kick, quarter circle backwards kick. Right? Mm. So these three moves are kind of what... Hey! Oh, <laughs> Hi, <my> Justin. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Hi. So these kind of moves are what kind of defines your character. So a lot of people call Ryu a Shoto character, a Shotokan character, which is what they called a karate character. So the, a Shoto character usually has uh, an anti-air flying move, a projectile, and sort of a move that uh, yeah, can be used to cover distance. Mm -hmm. So these three special moves, which is what comes to uh, define that character. Now, Ila's character, Zangief, he's like a grappler. And so his special moves are, except for the Lariat, all defined by close range uh, command grabs, right? Mm -hmm. And some stuff, some uh, other special moves like green hand to try to get getting close to use your uh, your grapples. Yeah. Hey, hey, Robert, how's it going? Good to see you. Bust the move, indeed. And then uh, the character that I've got here, that I used just for uh, for demonstration purposes, because you guys don't use this type of character, is called the charge character. So you hold. With Honda, you hold three seconds back or two seconds back, press forward and punch. You do this, down, up, and you do like a sumo Ooh. splash. So those those characters are defined by sort of charging moves, but you can't really call them like like Giles is a charge character and Honda is a charge character, right? Yeah. But you can't really call them the same kind of character because Guile actually has a fireball and he has an anti-air move, the, the flash kick. So. Uh, yeah, the charge character is always a bit of a strange, um, strange kind of um, 
um, yeah, name for, for these kinds of characters because they have all sorts of different moves. And they both have like a different body type. Exactly, very different body type, exactly. Like, so is heavier than, um, than yeah. Kyle. Kyle is more close actually to uh, Ken and Ryu in the type of moveset he has, right? Yeah. Only he has only the fireball and only the flash kick. He doesn't have like a hurricane kick or anything, but he has very good normal moves. That, uh, that he can use, very oppressive normal moves. Hmm. You guys, uh, Justin, you as a, a resident Street Fighter 2 expert, uh, do you agree with all of that? But why if I do a Hadouken, it doesn't show you can? Check your, check your move inputs. So that's what we're going to uh, be practicing a little bit on today. So, as, apart from your special moves oh kind of God. defining your character, they all have different uses. Uh, one of which, but that we'll get into later, is to extend your combos. But that's what we'll cover in combos. But uh, yeah, so let's let's focus on the uh, let's focus on the fireball first. Tarm, can yeah, you maybe sit down and put the stick on your lap? Because I think then it's easier for you to see how you're inputting your I moves, right? And I, I was just so the fireball, we spoke about this a little bit already. What kind of use does the fireball have, except for hitting people and doing damage? Like uh, giving people less options. Less options, exactly. Well remembered, very well remembered. So you basically force them into making a move. Force them into doing something when you throw a fireball. I can't do it, I'm just so bad. Okay, I'm going to show you. Check your, check your inputs there. So what you need to do... so hard. What you need to do, and I'm not great with uh, uh, a square gate stick yet either, but what you need to do is really underperform your move. So press down, down, forward, forward, right? Check, check, my, uh, check my input. And then really stop there. You see? If I, if I keep I'm circling... Not I'm not trying to do a doken. You're doing sure you can. You're, no. you're, you want to want to do sure you can. No. What are you trying to do? The the credit card. But we'll we'll get to that. No. I'll I'll show you. So. I just want to try. Yeah. yeah, sure. But you can try later. Don't get mad. Don't get upset. So. It's a very short mo short move. You see? Oh. And I, I I screw it up sometimes. You see? Then I do this. The forward command normal. That's also a screw up. Also a screw up. So, I'm not great with this, a square cat stick yet either. See, I, even I, even I mess up, mess up here. But so it, it's good to just kind of drill this move. Try to do it as many times as possible. So just focus on uh, on getting some hadokens in right now. Right or put put it on your lap maybe. That's even, that's even worse. Fireball force the opponent to block, chip damage, counter fireball, move away, giving you the space, or jump along with your attack. This is exactly. so bad on my lap. Yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah, good. I'm checking your input. Yeah, very good. Very good. On the stick, you don't want to exaggerate your move. You need to, uh, on the Japanese style stick, you need to really underperform them. See, you're moving it up now here. So you need to you need to stop there. Yeah, that's it. So you need to, yeah, that's basically what you need to do. You need to stop here. Oh, it's very weird weird to do it from here. Yeah. So yeah, stop stop here where the arrow is on your stick. See that? All right, Dragon Punch is a more, uh, uh, or you want to practice the Hurricane Kick first? Yeah. Mm. It's easy, it's the same as a Fireball, just in reverse and you use kicks instead of punches, right? Yeah. Whoa, EX. So, yeah, you can, uh, you can try to practice that a little bit. Build the muscle memory, yeah. And as you can see, uh, dear viewers, I don't have it down on these uh, Japanese style sticks with the square gates yet either. I still need to get in a lot of uh, a lot of drills. 
for my character Zangief, it doesn't really matter. It's fairly easy. Actually, I find that the 360 motions with uh, Zangief are pretty easy to do on the stick. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Yeah, here we go. Skills. We need to show this off in a real arcade. Hmm. Once Elena Rios moves, you can confuse the hell out of it by making the face Vinci Gucci. Oh no! Oh my god, I'm doing it again. I'm not gonna confuse them. I'm doing it again. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> Alright. That's uh that's V skills, V triggers, that's all very specific to Street Fighter 5. So um sure you can that's a more difficult move right no it's, it's easy actually yeah actually in um street fighter 4 and 5 there's a shortcut to do it it's normally the move would be forward down down forward and then a punch which is a tricky i found a tricky move as a kid trying to learn it but in these games you can press diagonally forward twice and hit punch for a quick sure you can uh, if you're not confident about your sure you can coming out to anti-air somebody, you can always do down fierce po punch like we talked about before, yeah, right? Like this. Yeah. Or that. Yeah. Or like even. Really or e that I noticed. Mm -hmm. but like um, that girl with the weird, assuredly blonde hair. Yeah. The more on that side. Tiffany. Yeah. Every time she jumps, her hair goes a little like this, and then self like that. Oh yeah. Uh, design film. Right. Hi, anyway, hi, stupid DJ. I wish we had a computer in our garden. Yeah. So we can play arcade. So we can uh, spin the wheel and then we can do this while we're in the pool. Because I really feel like we're right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We can, we can play on the Switch. We can play Ultra 2.2 on the Switch. Yeah. <laughs> But it's gonna so fall in the water. We don't talk about easy mode in Capcom vs. Uh, 2 on the GameCube. No, exactly. But Tyron loves that, right? Easy mode uh, or yeah. GameCube mode. On yeah. That. yeah, you can bust out all the special moves like crazy. You can do a lot of broken stuff with Guile as well because you don't have to charge anything. <laughs> you can keep throwing sonic booms. Yeah, so a little bit about Guile because he's an interesting character. His special moves are more in functionality than more like Ryu and Kent's. But since uh, his recovery on his fireballs, on his sonic booms, are very fast, he usually wins fireball bars because he can throw a lot of them. See, look, 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 look. She yeah, jumps I, and then, see? Oh yeah, whoop! Yeah, yeah. She's from rival schools actually, that girl. She's a cheerleader. And the other girl is also from uh, from rival school. Uh, school. She's a friend of Sakura. Hinata. Uh, oh yeah, I saw it. Yeah, yeah. it's so weird. Yeah, <laughs> teleporting hair. Not even her hair, it's like her yeah. whole body. So, Shoryuken is of course an anti-air... Uh, Usually it's a very good wake up option because it's invincible on startup, but not. Here we come with a little differences from game to game. In Street Fighter 5, it's not invincible. The startup of the move is not invincible. So you cannot do an invincible. Uh, whoa! Look at whoa. Oh Wow. God. You can't do an invincible. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What, else, what was I going to say? You cannot do an invincible Dragon Punch on wake up. So it's not a, it's not fail safe. It's still a decent option, but you can't count on uh, on getting it. God bless the USA. So I think that concludes uh, regular special moves. Uh, maybe Ila can uh, can take a seat now, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ila's turn. So we're going out of the menu. Turn. Yeah. Ila's turn for now. Okay. And then we're going to, when Eli's done, we're going to talk about EX specials and critical arts. Alright? Okay. Which you already done. Which you already know about, but since we make the lessons complete. Alright, Tara. What? Eli's turn. She's going to sit there. Oh, and, uh, oh, I thought you were going to sit there. No. No, 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 because she's playing with uh, Zangief, not with Honda, right? Uh, uh, uh. Why would I wait there otherwise? Let me see. There's no character select? Oh, character stage select. Here we go. 
Good job, Tarn. Yeah, getting uh, some compliments there for all your uh, deafness on the stick. Yeah. Same, same uh, level, right? Yeah. It's so hot, we need to play on the beach. Uh, yeah, let me pick Zangi for you, then you can sit on this side. Cyclone! Maybe I can already. Yeah, no, I'll, uh, I'll pick. Uh, I'll pick Hondo. Onigarawa. So for those uh, that came in late, Ila made lovely uh, banana chocolate smoothies. Where's he go? I don't know. I think he's going to the swimming pool. Maybe he's going back into the swimming pool. All right, so Zangief has a couple of moves. <laughs> uh, Lariat, right? Exactly, which goes through, which uh, lets fireballs pass through, yeah. so it's good. It also works uh, good as an anti-air. Uh, and it's just, you know, good on knockdown. See if you can stand close to me, I'm, I'm ducking, and do a, do a, see if you can hit me with a lariat. Yeah, because you start low, actually, right? So even yeah. the tinier characters, you hit them there. But if I stand a little bit back from you, if you do a lariat, do it again. I can uh, I can still hit you, right? So that you need to be careful uh, with it. There's a weakness. It's not an invincible move. Big boys. <laughs> exactly. Big boy characters. Big boy characters. Um, and what else does he have? Let, let's check because let's check in the uh, the move list for this game because of course we know that he has a spinning pile driver which he had in the first game. Uh, oh, wait. His best move in my opinion. Command list. We know that he has a atomic buster. How do we? Or atomic drop. So. No, no, no. These are normal throws. Uh, oh, wait, hold up. Special moves. Screw, pile. Screw pile driver, aka oh. spinning pile driver. So. Yeah. Changes during V trigger too. Interesting. I never used Siberian that one. Express. It's Siberian Express. I've never. That is a quarter. It's only a half circle backwards half and circle. do and do a kick. I want to try that one. Which one is the down? Borscht case? Dynamite. This is the air air grab uh, spinning pile. Can I effort. try the Siberian Express? Hold up. What is this? The Thunder Storm. It's like a. Z yeah, it's like a uh, like a um, dragon punch with two two uh, with two buttons. Interesting. Can I try that for a sec? Yeah. Okay. So. Huh. That looks like a new move. Oh, hold up. I was uh, confused because of the... Uh, All aboard the Siberian Express. <laughs> uh, oh, attack data frame. This we'll turn off the frame data on. I thought that actually was part of the move. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, maybe that move is only part of when you're in V-Trick or something. Let me check that because... No, there was nothing written there. Uh, command list. Tundra Storm. Yeah, there's nothing written there. Let me try that. So Double time punch. Where are you keep getting? Oh, it's a, it's like a counter. Why am I still getting the? Uh... Okay, off. Can you uh, can you hit me? I never even knew of this move in this game. Oh. Yeah, hit me with a with a fierce punch. Okay, try it again. Wow, it looks like a counter, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Let me get to the other side. What is that? Some sort of. It looks like some sort of counter, but it. Maybe some sort of taunt. Very weird. Anybody know about this one? <laughs> Almost easy, right? Yeah, 
Okay, yeah. I have no idea what that does, but it's not too important, I, Can I think. Can I try the Siberian Express? Yeah, sure, try it. Okay. So it's a quarter um, circle backwards no, and half kick. Circle. Half circle backwards, yeah, sorry. Kick, yeah. I'm yeah. gonna try with the light kick. Wait, I'm used to. Yeah. Do it, uh. Yeah, do it. St stop at the back, exactly. And, and you need to press. There we go, yeah. Is that Siberian Express? Yeah. Choo choo. Choo choo! All aboard the Siberian Express. An anti air counter. Okay, interesting. I'm I'm playing this character and I knew, never knew about this move. I never use it. It doesn't yeah. seem to do anything, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. That Let's does, uh, see does how good damage, far right? You can run, okay? Yeah. The only thing is, with this mo move, you need to do it when people. Wait. You can yeah. see how far you can yeah. just run. Okay, uh, stand still. I'm yeah. gonna try to go a little bit further. Yeah, <laughs> almost. If you do a full one, it's uh, almost. I think it's almost full screen. The thing is, though, try it. Oh, uh, try it again. Oh, try it again. Oh, it still grabs me. Because you can actually power uh, of cutscene. Yeah. <laughs> so you can uh, actually punch people out of it when they, they when they do it. Try it again. Wait. They sound though. They're saying maybe that. I think that's a little easier. Try the other way. Oh, sorry. Again, sorry. See, I can punch you out of it. So uh, I usually save this move for when people don't expect it, when they land from a jump or something. Because, yeah, you can really see it. Yeah, and, and it's a good move to do with EX. So if you use two punch buttons instead of two, uh, normal ones, it costs you one uh, bar of your critical art gauge, but uh, you get some invisibility on it. So try it again, but with two kick buttons. Yeah, kick. Yeah. So you, uh, and try it again, because I'm gonna try and 100 hand slap you out of it. Do it? Do it. Go. Yeah, I didn't hit you, but uh, you can ex absorb at least one hit from my experience when uh, you do it in the EX version. It is a running power bomb, exactly. Uh, in Street Fighter 4, if you would do that move up close, Zangief would move around the back and then do a different move. But here, there's only one move in Street Fighter 5 that he does. Where is his taunt? Uh, these two, I think. Yeah. You have a great body. <laughs> He's always friendly, right? <laughs> so, um. <laughs> He's grabbing his armpits. So uh, he, his taunt is so long. Yeah, it is. <laughs> wait, wait, He's very can slow I? as well. Wait. You can just kick me. Yeah, but back. you can cancel out of a taunt, right? I'm doing this. Yeah, otherwise you'd be, you'd be screwed. But yeah, taunting is uh, is a whole whole different chapter. You can do a whole episode on just taunting. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna do this. Um, so, your final special move is spinning the spinning pile driver. Exactly. Do it. You know how to do it. That's the that's only oh, no, that, yeah. that was actually your final uh, special move. There we go. Yeah. Three different strengths. See? All special moves, of course, have three different strengths, right? Yeah. You have a, a light, Wait. middle, and heavy version. Oh, that's your critical art. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, drowned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, that's it. I can also. <laughs> <laughs> Ura, ura, ura. I love how they turned Zangief into a power face. Yeah, exactly. He is a power face. Yeah. In the water. 
longer. Yeah. So uh, then the final special move in this game is you can do an air or the borscht thing. <laughs> or that's it, an air spinning pile driver, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna jump at you and you try to grab me out of the air with a yeah. air thing. No. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. I'm just gonna drop. I just neutral. I clicked here instead of here. All right. Yep, there we go. Good stuff. It's not that easy. Though. It's not easy to do, yeah. Usually, you don't really plan on doing it when somebody jumps at you because they can also try and try and kick you or uh, like if I do an anti-air jet. See? Yeah. It's a little bit risky, but it's good to sometimes catch somebody out there. Like what I found a lot usually when uh, I knock people down, they expect me to spinning pile drive for them, right? Yeah. So they jump up neutrally, mm -hmm. then I can jump after them and do an air spinning pile driver. Yeah. When I'm playing uh, people online. Whoa! Cold tomato super move. <laughs> yeah. He's very uh, tomato. Look at this. Oh, you should be able to. Uh, what is that? He can't. Uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. Oh, oh you can walk backwards, or forwards, yeah. <laughs> Dude, one, one time he's still, soup. still, still steaming. <laughs> that is tomato power. That is the one and only tomato power. Yeah. He's quite funny huh, in this game. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so... Is it actually a Russian guy who... Um, who, who does the voice? Yeah. I don't think so. I think it's just somebody putting on a comedy accent. Alright then. <coughs> um, it that concludes more like Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, than a Russian guy. Guy, yeah, that con concludes uh, Zangief's special Wait, moves. You want to practice a little bit more? Yeah. You're pra practicing your critical art right now. <laughs> it's just so easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Regular. So you, with the with this move. You always have to sort of find good ways to buffer it in, like exactly for when you're jumping or for when you right after you're recovering from a, from a move. So this is getting ahead a little bit, but you can do, for example, if I do a, a mid a mid sweep, it gives me just enough recovery to buffer in a uh, spinning pile driver. Hold on. Oh. Like that. So I can combo from a mid sweep into a spinning pile driver. So, but that's all when we're going to talk about combos. But that's, those are like safe ways to do a spinning pile driver because the risk from walk uh, in walking up to somebody and trying to do a spinning pile driver is that they can hit you while you're doing that, right? Yeah. So but this is this like is a way to. Oh, you're gonna hit me? Bam! I hit you, and I combo into a spinning pile driver. Or you can driver. just also do when he instead of uh, instead of you walking to him, he's walking to you. Yeah. So you can also just do that. Some sort of punish. Yeah, yeah. For example, exactly. Or when they're recovering from a move, or uh, yeah, when you're jumping in, like you're saying, it's very easy to, to bring out the critical card, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're watching Sips play Cook Simulator this week, and Cold Tomato Soup pretty much sums it up, right? So I, I know what you want to. Practice a little bit more, or you're good Wait. to move on to the next uh, the next bit. <laughs> Dang! Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. This is just so. So, what is your objective uh, as a, with a character uh, like Zangief, whose special moves are mainly big grabs, big command grabs? Um, what is that? If you want to make the best use of Zangief, what do you what do you want to do? I want to make people laugh because it's so ridiculous. <laughs> you want to make people laugh. Uh, you want to get in close, right? So you can use your moves, yeah. and you want to make sure that you can do them safely without getting beat, beaten for it. So. That's why Zangief is always good to play him a little bit 
less aggressive and more defensive. Wait for the right moments. You don't want to. The, the one thing you don't want to do is try, whatever the cost, try to spinning pile drive people. Because if they know that, they can do all sorts of stuff against you. Yeah. Right? You need to wait for the exact right moment to do it. Don't try to force it too much. That's it. If you get if you get one good spinning pile driver in in a match, it's already good because it does a ton of damage, right? Yeah. You don't need to do one after another. You can, of course. I've done it. Yeah, you but, can do uh, spinning pile drive like this, and you can do spinning pile drive like that. That's hilarious. That's not the spinning pile drive. I mean that. All right. <laughs> All right, then uh, let's go on turn, and we'll, let's talk about uh, uh, yes. EX specials, yeah. right? So hot. There's 28 more minutes and then I can jump into the pool. Yeah. We got the pool set up in the garden, so after this we can t go for a nice cool dive. Tell him. Tell him. Your turn. Your turn. Are you back in the pool? Yeah. I'm gonna go downstairs, grab a snack, because I'm hungry. Good idea. Yes, well. Yeah. Just half, half, uh, another half hour to go, and then you guys can swim. Um, yeah. Character, stage select. There you go. Okay, pick your uh, pick your character. You can pick anybody for me. It doesn't really matter. You can pick a character for me. Okay. The beach. The beach. The beach. Oh yeah. This looks like Thailand or something. This beach with the uh, with the building in the back. <sighs> How's everyone been doing? Is it Where's is it as hot in the UK as? Oh. Uh, as here? How many degrees is it over there? Oh yeah. Birdie! <laughs> like me, I was I also gonna eat something. After okay. this. Birdie, break time break and enjoy, time. enjoy time. Chewing time. Break time. time. Birdie time. <laughs> okay, wait, just... Yeah, just... Yeah. That's fine. So, what we're gonna do now, and this is very simple, is EX moves, right? So, EX moves are variations of your special moves, if if they have those uh, capabilities, and most do. Um, in which you sacrifice one of your three critical cur art yeah, bars to do a buffed up move of your special move. So let's do it. Yeah, exactly. EX Fireball, EX Dragon Punch, oh. and EX Hurricane Kick. You see the properties change. The Hurricane Kick does multiple hits on damage instead of, ex instead of just one. The Fireball does more damage, and the uh, Uppercut uh, is basically completely invincible. Ew! So. It's so I'll, I'll, I'll try. Yeah, he flicks some snot at you. So I'll try to jump at you. You do an ex, uh, ex uh, shuriken, okay. and you can see. Yeah, see, it just took, completely killed my jump in. I can't do anything. Okay. That oh, too. Wait. So the uh. thing is, you don't want to overdo these um, ex special moves because that means you cannot do your critical art if you yeah. keep on using them, right? And you can only do three in quick succession because at a, at a maximum bar because you can only it costs a full segment of your bar. Ah. <laughs> you can do a parry and then immediately you show you can after that. Yeah. Or oh, that helps too. Yeah, frame advantage. <laughs> That's a weird, uh, weird jump attack, right? <laughs> uh, you can't parry that. Yeah, only it's very specific. There, you, you, you parried it. Uh, but look at uh, what happens if you walk. And it's good. So 31 today, apparently. Yeah, S same around here. So. Daddy, look at this. So we got a, yeah, <laughs> we've got a bit of a heat wave coming in. So I imagine it's much the same over there. Fahrenheit, Celsius, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Anything below minus, minus five, you can 
No! No! Oh. I just... It just... I'll take this good gun. Oh, I'll take this good gun. Yeah! <laughs> it flexed not at you. <laughs> yeah! What the hell? <laughs> so, um... What else can you do with uh, your EX meter? Yes. Uh, that's guy. what you can do. A critical art, right? Yeah. In, in Ryu's case, that's like a Shinku Hadouken, right? That's yeah, what it's called? And, uh, uh, and if you buff it up with this V-Trigger 1, you, it's uh, extra powerful with the electricity. Uh, uh, Denjin, uh, Denjin, Denjin Hadouken, it becomes yeah. then, yeah. Um, so, but that costs full three bars. Now, the, bar, the bars uh, are being filled up by successfully attacking and by blocking moves that come uh, for you. Whereas the I, I can block the snot! Oh, nice. Wait, wait, wait. Did you parry the snot? No, but I, maybe I can. Wait. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> parry the booger! <laughs> That's gotta go in the highlights. <laughs> yeah. A few years again, ago, again. we had frozen roads and pitches. Yeah. I, I, I miss uh, the, the, the real heavy winters, but I don't want to talk about winters right now. I'm, I'm oh. all in the summertime mood. Um, <laughs> Stupid snub. <laughs> scratching his butt as well. Yeah. <laughs> Very <Parody> snub. <laughs> that's just an animation, it's not even a tone. Yeah. Uh, that's so weird. And you pee pee. It, look, it looks like you pooped in your pants. Yeah? Yeah, just look at look at the pants. <laughs> oh yeah. Hello. Ah! <laughs> Fair the <fade> again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is it? <laughs> what? Oh, banana peel. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Do it again. I wanna. Fair the banana peel. Yeah. I don't think you can. Uh. Oh, you did! Ah! <laughs> he fared the banana peel. Uh, uh, <laughs> this game's crazy. Flick, lick, roll and flick it. Okay. Um. So yeah, the uh, the the V trigger bar is filled up by getting suffering damage, and the critical art bar is uh, filled up by successfully attacking and um, uh, blocking moves. Successfully blocking moves. And I guess Perry. Also fills it up quickly. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I can I guess I could tell the same to Ela, but she already knows. Um, I guess we can practice a little bit for, uh, in, a, in a battle, right? Yeah. Real battle, and then I'll call in Ela. She can practice a little bit. I hate stupid snake. We don't need to go over the same stuff with with uh, Zangief. Yes. There we go. So, who am I going to pick? It doesn't really matter. Versus. Maybe I'll pick Ed. I don't know that character. Uh, yeah, oh, that one. Ed. Ed. And he is quite unique in Street Fighter V in that he doesn't have... Um, he doesn't have charge moves, nor does he have quarter, quarter circle uh, stick rotation moves. He has uh, special moves where you hold the button. So he's quite different from the rest of the cast. Go. I'll have to close my illegal fighter game theme by the speak easy mode. Yeah, looked like looks like Birdie has taken advantage of the puzzle reopening. <laughs> this looks so weird. <laughs> I'm shaking him. For the record, I don't really like this character. His personality sucks. So yeah, that move activates with just holding the holding the button. I buried it. Yeah, nice. Ow! Crush counter. He does have some quarter super moves though.
He's M Boxer. He's not M Bison. He's not Boxer. He's M Boxer. Yeah. Damn you! Hey, Suits, how's it going? You missed all the uh, you missed all the lessons part. And you missed all the booger um, all booger the, flicking. Yeah, you missed all the, but the we're, booger we're kind period. Of, we're kind of just uh, sparring, spar sparring now. This is our sparring session. Yeah, I was I was pairing a booger. I was pairing a banana peel. I was pairing a um, a, a can. Yeah. So Suits just messaged me saying that he yesterday he played a lot of uh, Street Fighter Alpha One on the Saturn and uh, really enjoyed it. Even though he no normally doesn't really enjoy uh, fighting games. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll put it later on YouTube. You can watch it. There's probably a lot better tutorials than what I'm doing out there as well. But uh, I don't know. It's for the kids' benefit. It's all for the kids. Put the berry. Yeah. All right. Let me pick another character. Stupid Ed. Damn. damn. Just bought yourself Street Fighter Alpha 2. Did you order? I, I guess you ordered it online, right? It's really good. Street Fighter Alpha 2 is a. Uh, yeah, that's that's a true classic. Timpot, what do you think about the Alpha games? You like them, or you uh, still prefer the original Street oh, Fighter games? Doesn't matter. Oh, oh, you went uh, went back. Eight pounds fifty. Yeah, it's not too expensive, right? So, did you get a Japanese copy or a, a European copy? All my uh, all my Saturn games are Japanese because I have a because my console is Japanese. Abigail. Abigail. Yeah, we're okay. picking Ab Abigail. With your Ghosts and Goblins costume. <laughs> this is like looking at the camera and every girl! Yeah. <laughs> uh, two, two for 17 pounds. I think, that's, look a, at I think that's on the Saturn. Not wanting to speak out of turn. What? Did you see that his uh, like meter thingy? Yeah. It was like all uh, uh, over about. <laughs> He's crazy! Oh my god! This is like like the picture of uh, like the cover art of Street Fighter Alpha 2, which is real, just looking all the way up to Akuma's. Yeah, Akuma well, being I, very large all of a sudden. I, I can't hit you. Anymore. Somebody's calling you. Yeah, it doesn't matter. No. I'm streaming. It's not important. Who is it? Nobody that I know. It's probably somebody uh, from the client. I'm not gonna pick that up today. Boom! Saturn, right? Yeah. Action replay works without uh, without issues. Can you play games in uh, in 60 hertz with it? That's the first uh, round only, right? Yeah. Okay, let me put in some. Uh, let, me, let me play a little bit more serious. No! How do you do his run again? And that's his grab. No, how do you do a grab again? How do you do a grab again? Which? Uh, these two. Two life attacks. That's it, yeah. Ridiculous, huh?
Say, good, say goodbye to everybody. And bye bye. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. I'm gonna bury some more so, boogers. So, yeah, Eli's going to uh, take the player one seat now. Uh, character select. Character select. Peace, Tyron. They're saying peace to you. Peace. You used to have to sit for the Alpha 3 CPU 2 board. Sold that and Super Turbo before it went to Australia. As I didn't want to restore them and having the batteries run out. Good call, good call. Bye bye, little dude, says Sooth. <laughs> <laughs> bye. What's my favorite Yeah. Yes. Yeah, my I can't tell. Yeah? Yeah. Tracksuit Laura. Better, right? No, no. It's it's the beach. I don't want to wear a tracksuit to the beach. Me neither. Yeah, better, right? Yeah. It's, uh, his wrestling briefs can double as... Uh, can double as... Um, swimming trunks. Yeah. So, uh, or speedos. So, <laughs> uh, what I didn't tell Eli yet, or what... But she already knows, is that... All your special moves, except for the lariat, but the spinning pile driver and the running grab uh, can be done with two buttons, and you get an EX version, right? Mm -hmm. And it takes one bar of your critical art. Yeah. Uh, and you have your critical art, which you've done a lot already, which is the uh, big, uh, the big thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to throw a fireball at you, so be be ready for it. It's like she pulls it from her hair. That was really fair. Yeah. So that's what you, be, you gotta be careful uh, for with uh, a character like Laura. But at, see, Zangief has so much health. Even though I hit you more, you. Uh, you have uh, way more health still. Nice! Lariat. <laughs> Lariat wins. Alright. You, you ain't seen me yet, right? <laughs> <laughs> you wear your tracksuit to the beach? Shit. Whoa! I need to get out of here. Oh, nice. Well done. Oh, wow. <laughs> Shall we just do rematch? This is a good no. uh, We don't need to switch characters, right? New characters are with normal people names. Laura, yeah. Ruffian FG. Good morning. How's the training going? Thank you, Ruffian FG FGC. Well, the training. We're just in a kind of kind of playfully sparring right now. The real training has been uh, done and uh, yeah, it's kind kind of done and over with. Uh, play again. Play again. <laughs> yeah. So. I like Laura's character design. Oh. Oh. Mm. 
your move power through a lot of mine, huh? Oh, hold up. <gasps> wow. I forgot I, I forgot a lot of her moves as well. <laughs> Got your times mixed up. I thought we just started. Yeah, no no problem, man. We uh, we started about an hour ago. Yeah. No worries. Thanks for joining. We do this every alternate week. Uh, yeah, every alternate week. I think next uh, week we uh, we can move on to combos. Lesson one, we spoke about normal moves and movement. Lesson two was all about defense. And wow, good stuff. Good good uh, response with the lariat, Ila. So my daughter Ila is playing with Zangief. So she also has command grabs, Laura has. So she's kind of grapply wrestler like as well, but she has some different tools. So let me. What was her critical art again? No, that was not it. I took a round! Yay! <laughs> so I think next week we're going to. Or next. Uh, in two weeks we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, combos, I think. with and I like her I like her character uh, design as well nice so when you see that right you just crush countered me uh, and you s saw her turn around you can dash in and easily do a spinning pile driver like that you can really capitalize on that see I could do the same now to you what her critical art was. Yeah, that's it. Of course, it's a it's a command grab. So. Finally. Nice. Well done. So try to try to find a situation where you can easily use the spin pile driver. <laughs> Let's try it again. Oh! No! It cost, cost you three bars. Force fields from another world. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. So, Ruffy and FGC, FGC, have we met before? Are you? Uh, do you use uh, other other names online as well? You can choose another um, character. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'll I'll pick another character. Not too hard though. <laughs> <laughs> who Who do you want me to pick? It's your uh, choice. I don't mind anything. Dan? Dan is not in this game. No, How come Dan is not in that game? In this game? That's sad. Kanzuki Beach. Sakura looks. I don't. She's an arcade operator. Yeah, but I don't right like now. the look of the under eyelashes. No? No. Yeah. I see what you mean. I need a candy storekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> you are gonna take birdie. Birdie? Yes. Alright. Let's do it. Pretty much your name everywhere. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you from? I always uh, welcome actual FGC people on the streams to sort of fill out, fill uh, in where my knowledge ends. Since I'm definitely not a tournament level player, I know a lot of theory about these games, what is but I'm not. Uh, F means uh, FGC means fighting game community. Yeah. So if you if you got you and Tarn are st starting to go 
to attend tournaments and go to EVO, then you're also part of the FGC. <laughs> oh, you picked Rashid? Yeah. You're not Zangief? No. I'm only clack clacking that down. I'm seeing because this is my second character. Oh, this is your, this is your backup character. Yeah. So, <laughs> I was like, can you just go? Okay, I want to... See, he's from Florida. Oh, we've got some of them. Oh, America. Florida. Okay. My uncle, um, he lives in Florida. He lives in Florida. Yeah, my, my, my brother in law also lives in Florida. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do you have any, does her she have any grabs? I don't think so. Here comes a can. Oh, it's under the waves. I can see it's it. still rolling. <laughs> it's rolling under the water. The can. I was throwing the can in, uh, in, in on the water here. Oh. Let's see. And you couldn't see it because it was rolling on her way, <laughs> but it's still there. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cheating. <laughs> I like kissing me and taking long walks on the beach, unless I'm beat up by civilian wrestlers. Yeah, you don't want that. Definitely don't want that. So you uh, you don't know too many moves with uh, Rashid yet, no. right? I want to beat you, okay? Okay, beat, beat me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. At one point, I'm uh, going to have to start playing for real, right? No. Because you learn a lot from losing in this game, actually. No, but I do want to like study his moves. Of course. Can he throw his booger at me? I don't think Yeah, he can, but it's a it's an idle animation. Yeah. So if I don't do anything, he'll flick a booger. Yeah, but I think I might be just small, right? Here. Yeah, yeah now it's, it's over you, but if you stand a little bit further away, it, it hits yeah. you. Yeah, really? You can't see it flying, right? I don't think you can. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yeah, there, there you go. go. Yeah, Tarn was, Tarn was parrying boogers with Ryu before. <laughs> <laughs> Great thing to think so you were parrying boogers. Also really useful in real life. Mm. When someone How do you do Rashid's critical art? Uh it's double quarter circle forward and punch. Like wait, wait, like double quarter. Yeah, it's difficult. You can't just do it uh, if you have never done it before. Basically, like a fireball, which you already don't have much practice doing, right? But then a double one. What was uh, Birdie's uh, critical art again? Oh, yeah, that's. No, no, that, that was his uh, V trigger. Congratulations! <laughs> So yeah, at one point I'm going to have to start beating your kids. Not in real life, <laughs> in the game. No. Just so Stop you can learn more. It's time. Go. Yeah? It's I time? I swim now. Oh. In the real water, right? Not in the, no. in the fake water. No. In the game water. No. Alright then, uh, Blue, ladies and gentlemen. Are you hungry? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining this third Is episode of Teaching Kids How to Fight. Is uh, that there? Uh, yeah, that looks like that's somebody's channel icon. But it doesn't <laughs> matter. Uh, thanks so much for joining. Uh, yeah, special moves. We went over Sarah! that. It's not. No! It's not exactly uh, really thing. really difficult stuff. Uh, but good to know the applications <laughs> of it and the why, what, and the how, right? What is the mouse? Here, here, you can do it because uh, SF5 has taken over controls. So, what? but this is this is what? this is not a regular what? guidance stream. So there we go. Um, everybody, thank you so much for joining. In two weeks, we'll be back and we'll be talking about combos then. We're going to be comboing one move into the next one. How's that? Sounds, uh, sounds complicated, right? Hang on, can you recommend any super games from July 1983? Yeah, what? man, juniors. You mean, you mean July 1985, right? I think. We'll be talking about Metro Cross, Baraduke. Uh, no spoilers! Hang on. Why are you spoiling uh, me? What else? Spoilers! Uh, Commando! Spoilers! 
a couple of other arcade games. Don't listen. Film says we'll take you back to the future. Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm preparing the, the research duck for that together with them. Spoils. All right then. So peace, everybody. Have a Hi, lovely was, week, and so see you on the next stream. Bye. Bye bye. bye take bye. care. Bye. bye.